we set out to uh, shoot a music video for a song called Wonderful Creatures, which is on our new record. That song is a tribute to all the people that have supported us for years. Uh, but what we ended up filming was Joey and I going across the country and listening to people tell their stories and how music has deeply impacted those stories. We had no idea that we were creating a story of becoming for us as humans. And that, I mean, there's a monumental piece of my life that I'll never forget. The more we got away from the purpose being about us, the more fulfilling it was in telling these other people's stories. Thirteen. I had already started self-harming. Fourteen-year-old me thought I'd be dead by 27. I could sit there and tell you that every single person in my life would be better off if I was gone. Self-harm, anxiety, depression, I have two mental disorders. Um, and then also on top of it, the abuse that I have gone through in my life. I fought with all of that for more than half my life at this point. Just because you stop cutting doesn't mean you stop hurting yourself. You do it with people or with alcohol or with an eating disorder. Anybody who was in my life was human razor blades as I called them. I don't process emotions the same way everyone else does. And songs got me to process them in a way that wasn't destructive. Music became more than just something you listen to. Music was what got you through the day. I felt very outside of everything else except at a show, except listening to that. That was the only time I didn't feel like I was the only person who could see what was wrong. The first time I met you guys was the first time I had gone anywhere in months. I needed something or I was going to do something stupid. Up until recently, I would have I let people walk all over me, and I didn't feel that I was worth anything. And so, thankfully, I have people who showed me that I do. And I didn't have to do that anymore. We actually would play video games together every night and talk on headset, and then we would start talking about music and movies and everything in between. That was how we got through the day. It was our escape. I think I'm finally to the point where nobody's waiting for that phone call. Nobody's waiting for that, that I killed myself. Now instead it's talking about the house improvements or my wedding or anything like that. So life is good now. She literally represents our community because of her willingness to be humble about her brokenness. That she, she, she hears and is the meter for every creative song that we put out before anyone uh, because of the respect we have for her love of music and what it is for her, the purity of why she uses music in her life. You can really understand what someone has gone through, but until you make the decision to feel what they're feeling, you don't bridge any gaps, you don't actually change. Raquel's story is a story of victory. It's not a story of like just relating tragedy to music. It is someone who used music as a as a little, like a moment of strength when she really needed it, and she came out on the other end victorious. Not fixed by any means, but music is a part of the weapon she you know it's one of the weapons she uses against this monster.